What's going on, guys? It's Troy Dan here. And today, we've got the worst NBA player to win each award. I'm very curious to see what we have here. I can't think of many awful MVPs of the NBA. I'm just trying to go through the few I can remember in my head. But I can't, nothing's coming to mind. Nothing is coming to me. Regardless, we're going to find out right now. This video is from Rebound Rewind. Link in the description below. Make sure you sub this man 32 times. Let's go. Came. In my previous video, we discussed the best Please. NBA player to never win each award. Today, we're doing the opposite. Let's find the worst player to win each award, or least best player to win each award, since they're all great make. players. Yo, Kobe! Now, I do have a few quick rules. First, the award has to represent the skill set. For example, with the Defensive Player of the Year award, I will be naming the worst defender, not the worst scorer. Even if the overall said player might be a better offensive player, but the skill set is going to match the award. This video is going to go over NBA history, but if you want to focus on the game's future, to find the best NBA bets and picks for upcoming games, check out the Game Day's NBA Pick of the Day. You can do that by clicking the oh, link today. down below. <laughs> the Game Day is a new sports and sports oh, betting media egg. company built for today's fan. Without further ado, let's rebound onto that list. <laughs> oh. The worst player to win Rookie of the Year oh, yeah. is Michael Carter-Williams. Michael Carter-Williams is the definition of a one-hit wonder. He had one yeah. good season, and since then he fell off into a role player who comes off the bench averaging four points per game. I was going to say Ben Simmons, but no, he's not even close, is he? Or averaging seasons. He won Rookie of the Year in 2013 and seemed like he was primed to become a franchise player, but the opposite ended up happening. The worst or least best player to be selected to an All-Star game is James Donaldson. Okay. James made one All-Star game in 1988 at age 30 while playing for the Dallas Mavericks. He averaged seven points per game, 1.3 blocks, and nine rebounds in that season. These are simply not all-star numbers. During the game, he only nope. scored two points. James is a solid player, but many got snubbed and could have taken his spot on that roster. The least best player to win MVP is the youngest player to win the award, Derrick Rose. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Really? Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't know about this one. Rose's overall career was hindered due to injuries, and his 2011 MVP season wasn't yeah, really that noteworthy. The most noteworthy thing was his age being 22, and this award is heavily narrative-driven. He averaged 25 points per game and 7 assists on 44% shooting. Keep in mind, this is great for a 22-year-old, but compared to the entire pantheon of MVPs, these stats in his season seemed rather mundane amongst other MVPs. The least best right. player to win finals MVP oh, yeah, is Andre no Iguodala. He won the award during the 2015 finals, playing for the Warriors, beating a heavily injured Cavs team in six games. He if should be forced to give that trophy to Curry. He, he really should. If we were to give this award to the best player on the court, it should have gone to LeBron James. Wow. Jerry West once won a finals MVP playing for the losing team, so this is not impossible. We shouldn't if have. we were to give this award to the best warrior, it should have gone to Steph Curry. Iguodala won the award due to the narrative of defending LeBron James. But if you really break down his defense on LeBron, letting your opponent drop 40 points a night is not really yeah, how does amazing he defense. How do, he won that award for guarding LeBron, and LeBron was out there going off. They are about to give him the, the finals MVP for losing. He obviously didn't do a good job defending him. I know Curry didn't have the best playoff performance, but nah, I, I, didn't, I still hate that one. The worst player to win a ring can easily go to any player out of a team's rotation, but still awarded the actual jewelry. However, one notable name that comes to mind oh. is Darko Milicic, <laughs> who won a ring during his rookie season playing worst. for the Pistons. Darko was drafted second overall in the 03 draft, ahead of Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh. He was expected to be a franchise player, but was kind of a bust, averaging 1.4 points per game. During his rookie season, and only playing 34 games during that season, he averaged zero points per game in the finals. <laughs> the least best player to win a sixth man of the year is Aaron McKee. He won the award in 2001 playing for the 76ers. During that season, he actually started 43% of the games in that season and had a career average of 7.4 oh, points per game. That doesn't count. He averaged 11 points per game during that season he won the award. He was an average player, but amongst the other players who won the award, he doesn't really stand out. The most impressive 
improved, or should I say least improved player is Ryan Anderson. He never developed into a fully fledged all-star and was sort of a one near all-star during the prime of his game and became a rotation player later in his career. However, when he won the award, he only improved by six points from 10 points per game to 16 points per game and all his other stats were nearly identical. He also then averaged 10 more minutes per game, so his per 36 minute stats only- I find that trophy's a hard one to give because it's really just based on people's uh, opinion. I don't know who they're asking. I, that's a hard one to give, okay? Because there's so many options. Like, Lonzo could have won that every season, really. Let's be real. He increased by less than one He's point improved per every game. season. Long story short, he didn't really improve by much. The least defensive defensive player of the year is Tyson Chandler. Tyson won the award in 2012 while playing for the Knicks. The reason why Tyson is picked here is not because he's a bad defender, but because there's just so much competition in this award. Also, Man, it is worth Joe noting Kimnoa. that he is one of the only designated seven foot centers who won this award but never averaged over two blocks per game. And when he won the award in 2012, he couldn't even crack double digit rebounds or single digit steals. The least okay. best all star MVP is Glenn Rice. Glenn no, is actually Glenn. a pretty good all star caliber player. The reason why he gets picked is that many other MVPs are legendary franchise caliber players. Glenn won the award putting up 26 points, one assist, and one rebound during that All-Star game. And now for All-Star Weekend events. Since these are somewhat intangible, I will be counting the selection as the achievement rather than winning the trophy. With that in mind, the worst dunk contest performance belongs to Daryl Armstrong. To make a long story short, Armstrong isn't Who's known it? for his dunk contest dunks, you but more that? so his layups during the contest. He accidentally did a reverse layup in the 96 slam dunk contest. Kenny the Jet Smith himself had deemed this the worst dunk in the competition's history. <laughs> won. Armstrong was awarded last place in the contest and was never invited to compete oh, again. Oh. With the skills challenge Wait, changing its format from a solo timed competition to a duo face off, it's hard to pick a spot here based on any specific data. With that being said, someone who has been selected to a competition about dribbling, speed, and ball handling. <laughs> <laughs> Andre Drummond is not a player that comes to mind, Bad. yet yeah, was right. selected to compete in the 2018 competition. He Look at was Kristaps eliminated immediately and was only selected as a replacement for Kristaps Porzingis who tore his ACL. The worst three-point shootout performance ironically belongs to the goat of the sport, oh, Michael yeah, Jordan. MJ only had one invitation to the 1990 three-point shootout and his results are a clear reason why he was never invited back. He went 5 for 30, shooting at 16% from he not downtown. Made for three point this is the worst shot. percentage of points ever in high. this competition's history. The lowest scoring title belongs to Neil Johnson, who won the award only averaging 22.3 points per game in 1953. Dude, 22 points a game? He won the scoring title? Man, I... I get it tore up in that league. Lowest block champ title belongs to Anthony Davis, averaging 2.57 blocks per game in 2018. That's a the low lowest waste. assist champ award belongs to Andy Phillip, who only averaged 5.8 assists per game in 1950. Trash. The lowest rebound champ belongs to Dwight Howard, who averaged 12.4 rebounds per game Pathetic, in 2013. Dude, don't give that the guy anything. The lowest steals champ award belongs to Draymond Green, who averaged two steals per game in 2017. The weakest defender to make an all-defensive team is Eric. Snow. Eric only made Eric one all-defensive second team in 2003. Eric is an undersized shooting guard at 6'3", who averages about one steal and three rebounds. He's a solid defender, but there are many better defenders who yeah, won this award. Yeah, Eric Snow. The least best NBA player to make an all-NBA team is Derek Coleman. Derek is actually oh. a pretty good player. He's a one-time All-Star who also won Rookie of the Year. The only reason why he gets this pick is simply because of all the great competition who also made All-NBA teams. True. So here is the worst or least best player to win each award. Let me know what you think of this list and don't forget to check out thegameday.com. Be sure to dunk on that like button and subscribe with <gasps> notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind and Yo. I'll fast forward to you later. That was pretty good. I've never heard of anyone actually put uh, putting these out like that, like going over each and every uh, trophy. I like the animations, uh, clearly. But yeah, man, I guess I agree with it. Unless I got like all the facts in front of me. The Derrick Rose one, though. I'm not... I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, was there a worst MVP? I'm just going through it. I mean, I, no one, no one's really coming to mind. I, I just can't think of any. Again, I need to see the stat sheet of everyone who won. There's clearly names I'm not thinking of, but I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. You guys can actually look things up uh, while you watch. And let me know. Let me know because I, I don't know. I just feel like Derrick Rose. There's no way Derrick Rose 
is the worst MVP. He's the youngest. I anyway. Guys, if you got a video like me to watch and react to, please tweet me at TroyDan under the hashtag TroyDanReacts. Thank you for watching, and kids, is Derrick Rose the worst MVP?